Hello and welcome to Super Neville History here, and I'm here to give you a continuation of the Rebel Campaign. Now, um, if you guys uh, l looked at the news, you know, about a week ago, there was supposed to be some hurricane, uh, Hurricane Irene, that went across the East Coast. Now, I personally, well, East Coast of the U.S., and I live on the East Coast of the U.S., so um, I basically wasn't able to do was. I basically um, lost power and electricity for about uh, five days or so, but uh, that's not too bad, I guess. I wasn't able to play anything, but now I'm here, and this is like my first time I've been play I'll play this ever since um ever since the electricity stopped, because actually the electricity um. The electricity just recently came on for me, about like uh, like maybe an hour ago. So that's pretty cool and convenient. Now we have uh, it looks like where we left off, these these six units of Amazon Amazon chariots being attacked by the Scythians. Um, the Captain Tiger and Captain Hel Haldida. Okay, that's a strange name. Captain Haldida and Zip Zipodies. Oh, okay. I guess um, I have to be fighting. I'll have to be fighting this one or defend these girls. So um, let me you guys in the battle map. Take up the shield. And w if you look at my army, my army composing about a hundred and eight men, you'll find that my general here is the only man in this whole entire army, which is um. Pretty cool, <laughs> which is uh pretty interesting if you put it like that. This guy is commanding like what, what was that, like over 500, no, over 600 girl girls <laughs> on his team. So these Scythians, they better watch the backs, cause up against Amazons. So I'm gonna deploy my troops in two wings like that, because Amazon chariots are basically horse archers. And I need to put these guys in skirmish mode. I essentially skirmish with the enemy. Which I hopefully should be able to do because I'm just going to rain down death upon them. And these enemy reinforcements are not going to be that big of a deal. I'm going to go into Katabrian Circle with all my other horse archers. Because uh, in Katabra and Soko, they're mu much more difficult to hit, and I'll lose m much, much less girls. You'll have to be careful because when your troops are on Katabra and Soko, um, they could be run attacked in melee th much more easily. Wait, this this Amazon chariot is getting torn. Yeah, this is this is a bit of a mess. I did not want to lose this many girls on my side, but oh well. There's nothing really I could do. I'm thinking of maybe making a melee against them, but uh, yeah, maybe. I'll send to melee with the. I'll send. I'll send these two girls in melee. I'll slam into these guys, into these, into that ultra war band, a route that unit. Now I'll just send these Amazon chariots in, just see if I can run down any troops. So you can see all these girls just surrounding these guys. Poor, poor barbarian calf. They're just gonna get slaughtered. <laughs> Now the enemy general is running away from all my vicious girls, and uh, it's beautiful. Just seeing all these dead Scythians out here. 
Now this Scythian horse archer unit is running away from the puny little lives. <laughs> I want to see if I can run down this unit. And let's look. This is a uh, barbarian warlord. I don't want to get into melee with that because uh, although chariot are tr although um, chariots in general they're pretty strong, they will they will um, die pretty easily in melee. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. So we have so the enemy has uh, three. Scythian horse archers left and one barbarian warlord <laughs> and that was the enemy general uh, that was pretty funny he got run over now all my amazons are ready, are ready and they're gonna go ahead and engage in and hopefully enga shoot missiles into these barbar into that barbarian warlord yeah, they better. They better run. Crap. Run, 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 run. Okay. Gonna go into melee. Ah, I think I lost one. Yeah, I lost this Amazon chariot unit. Now, I'm gonna just surround this barbarian warlord unit from all sides. Just break him. So the barbarian warlord, buoyed on by its initial success, went ahead and, <laughs> and <laughs> ran straight into all my Amazon chariots and he got a painful death being surrounded by all those women. Oh, that's him right now. <laughs> Looks like he's he's been destroyed. I need to put all these girls in loose formation before they get before they get killed. Man, I'm losing so many of them, actually. Yeah, trying to get a few of these chariots over here. This chariot is taking too many, too much damage. I need to retreat it. So you can see right now that I, I won this battle hands down, but I lost a lot, a ridiculous number of uh, chariots. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I guess this is when you when you're gonna fight with chariot archers, you're you're bound to lose this many troops. And chariots infuriating. <sighs> Annoyingly, these stupid chariots um, don't really respond to commands very quickly. Let's retreat this unit. It's gonna get killed. Good, now they're running away. And. Uh, usually, I just chase down these guys when if they flee. But not not this time because well because what if when horse archers flee they actually do the Parthian shot like they will run away in this direction but then these horsemen will look will will fire arrows at your um, men that are pursuing. Good, these amateur chariots are running away. I mean these Scythian horse archers are running away. Just like I want them. So let's assess the damage. I lost almost 50% of my chariots. And in return, I killed about 80% of the men. That's a fair trade off, but I can't really afford these losses, especially with these, uh, especially with these um, Amazon chariots. Because Amazon chariots are... I don't... I truly, I don't think you could get, really get them, yeah, I don't think you could get Amazon Chariots, um, except at the beginning of the game, because you start off with the six units at the beginning of the game, you don't get, I don't think you get, get any other Amazon Chariots.
Now these are uh, Scythians are running away. I'm just gonna skip to the results screen. <laughs> For the results. <laughs> you have to laugh at that every time. So I lost. Yeah, you can see I lost about 50% of my men or women for the matter. Well, at least these girls came out on top. They proved the Scythians. They proved that the Scythians just got totally pummeled by a bunch of women. Which is uh, a victory nonetheless for women. For um, women's rights at this period in time. Uh, looks like I lost one of these Amazon chariots. Ugh, well, that's ugly. But I think the Thracians are uh, less of a threat. Anyhow, um, whenever you lose, whenever you lose too many casualties of one unit um, in battle, that one unit will become automatically disbanded in the campaign. Let's see. I think I can move all these troops. Let's see. I'll leave the Sicilian pirate here. I'll move everyone else. Prolysium's angry, but as usual, it doesn't matter if they're angry because um because as rebels your city your settlements cannot rebel it's, it's as easy as that let's see looks like the the Gallic army is gonna take over Salona oh yeah I forgot we have to look or scout around for any um, units that popped up let's look around look around look around it's a bit laggy I would say more laggier than usual oh so we have an army here Looks like some guy named Hessa of Vienna. <laughs> well, first of all, Vienna doesn't even exist. The, the city of Vienna doesn't exist at this time period. But uh, th that's strange. Uh, I have an option here. I could I could recruit mercenaries and um, <laughs> no, I can't because uh, I really can't because um, well, Hessa. I, yeah, it looks like I could recruit a few mercenaries and lay siege to this Britannian town here, but there's really no point in doing so. So I'm just gonna hide him in that settlement there. This Britannian navy, I, vic I gained victory against him, and Hessa Vienna is gonna hide in his little forest and see how long he survives. Let's look at the other settlements. So we got Philippos and Aram right here. Well, I'm gonna just send them to the crossing. And hopefully just just defend this crossing because I can't disband them. Because it, you can't disband generals. I'm just gonna leave them there, see what happens. <laughs> see if see if they die. Let's look at that. I, I'm just gonna defend that crossing, see if any enemy com comes by. I'm gonna, yeah, disband these peasants. These peasants are not gonna do anything. Ground. Ooh, looks like we got two peasants and one usher unit. <sighs> that's not gonna. That's a horrible, horrible brigand army. Let's look around in Asia Minor. It doesn't look like we have any brigand armies. Still building a tro some troops here. Halicarnassus and Sardis are fine. Cyrene is also fine. We're besieging Memphis. I don't know. I think I'll be able to take that city this turn. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and I think that's it. So, and I think that's all the brigand armies I see. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, let's look around. In Athens, we're still recruiting a few militia cavalry here. We're upgrading the ship, upgrading to shipwright. Uh, more, more, um, better ports equals more income. We're gonna recruit a few more units of Byzantium. So when these guys up here. Attack Capus Gitae, take over them. Perhaps to take over the Scythian capital over here. I might as well. <laughs> because uh, the Scythians attacked me. So I might as well go ahead and kill them. So after taking over these three settlements right here, I can hurry up and focus in Greece. I don't really have to focus up in Scythia too much because uh, 
you can see this territory is huge and the Scythian it'll take the Scythians a long time to reach me even then it doesn't they're not really gonna do much it just the Scythians are not not a very powerful faction let's see it so let's go to Captain Alexander here historically Alexander the Great went through um Asia Minor in the south taking over port cities along the way um, yeah and I know Parmenio was sent to like um, the northeast to take over Phrygia or something like that and uh, yeah that's history but in this game Alex Captain Alexander here is going to invade through the coast of the Black Sea Okay, I'm just gonna ignore that army. I'm gonna take over Sinal right away. And after that, I'm gonna look to Darius of Labis to take over Memphis. So obviously I'm gonna win this battle <laughs> with so little men. Actually I might. Yeah, I think I might auto resolve this. Ooh, I lost 400 <laughs> men. Uh, that was horrible. Okay, I lost 400 men, but personally, it doesn't matter too much with me. What are the casualties? Arab Cav, Bedouin warriors a bit, horse archers a little bit, but not too much. Archers a bit. Uh, it's uh, evenly distributed, which is okay. I don't it really. It doesn't matter too much. So Alexandria will build a peasant here. I'm gonna build another peasant and I'll build I'll build some Eastern infantry here I'll sit in uh, oh that was loud <laughs> loud as heck I'll sit in Memphis for a few turns and that that Egyptian army will become will come attacking me obviously but uh, hopefully not before I take Thebes we shall see next turn I think that's the end of um, this turn so I'll end the turn See what happens next. Looks like Gaul attacks Massilla. Gaul attack takes over Akakum. Gaul takes over Salona. <laughs> Looks like the Gallic people. Ooh. So it looks like um, Hessa of Vienna here is up against. Ooh, actually, looking at Hessa of Vienna's traits, wow, he's actually pretty good. Yeah. Sharp, publicly loyal, true Roman, although technically he looks like he's a Germanian. He looks like he comes from Germania. He's a bureaucrat, he's a good attacker, and he's a superior commander. That's uh, pretty interesting. However, it looks like Captain Tilo here <laughs> has a ragtag army of axemen and skirmish warbands. So, I'll show you this battle, see if I could win this small engagement. I'll meet you on the battle map. Alright, we're back. Let's start the battle. So what we have here is a skirmish warband and an axeman unit. And all I have is one barbarian cav unit right here. A light cav. And I want to see if I can take care of that skirmish warband first. You can see this, this skirmish warband unit is just going to run. Looks like the Axeman unit is trying to chase me down, but it's going to fail. Instead, I'm just going to chase down Skirmish Warband unit. Triple speed. Skirmish Warband unit's routes, as usual. I want to see if I could get this unit tired. I want to wait for the Axeman unit to be tired. So I'm just going to run around in circles essentially. So I'll meet you back when I tire out this uh, Axeman unit. So I successfully got this Axeman unit to become tired, exhausted. And <laughs> as usual, you can see here that they just, when they're exhausted, <laughs> they just run like little. <laughs> They run pretty funny. 
and my barbarian caviar unit is just winded. So, as usual, I'm just gonna charge them head on. See what happens. I'm probably gonna lose. But oh well, let's see what happens. We Wham! Well, I actually won that. <laughs> and you can see here that a lot of these axemen are just running away. Like, we. Oh, look at that! That was brutal! <laughs> The, the, it's just a smacking sound. Like, I, a, lot of them, a lot of these axemen just flew. <laughs> that was funny. Nah, I'll, I'll see you guys back on the campaign map. Sorry for showing you. The, sorry for wasting your time. But I just had to show this. This is pretty funny. Oh, it looks like uh, another army under, Germa under the Germanians. Uh, up against my army on the Hesse of Vienna. Well, unfortunately for Hesse of Vienna, he's probably not going to survive this one because there's two spear warbands. And spear warbands, they will totally slaughter cavalry. So, auto resolve, clear defeat. Hesse of Vienna dies a horrible, horrible death in Germania. He's probably tortured. And, uh, yeah. That's the last time we hear from him. Ah, uh, poor him. Dies a true Roman. So, Prolysium got some mines. I'm gonna build stables in Prolysium. And a land clearance. Because I, I, would, I would like to get Cav as soon as possible. Alexandria builds up some barracks. Let's recruit some Eastern infantry in the meanwhile. Ooh, looks like a 24,000. That's pretty nice. Now, I'm gonna recruit stables. When you have an Eastern settlement like Alexandria here you want to create stables as soon as possible because that allows you to train horse archers and horse archers are very very good in this game uh, recruit some po Pokemon got some got the stables built and so now we're gonna work on uh, mines and a temple of love shrine we need we need, we need some more love in this world so Memphis, it's gonna build. Huh. Apparently, I could build a trade caravan here. Actually, that's strange. Memphis is a eastern city. Huh. Last time I checked, it was, Memphis was a. Ooh. Yeah, last time I checked, Memphis was a. Um, which we call it? <sighs> was a Egyptian city. That's strange. Anyhow, I might as well take advantage of that and build some stables. Looks like the Roman factions are now at war with Carthage. None of our concern, unless you're one of those, Car unless you're a Carthage fan. Then I'm sorry, Carthage is gonna, just gonna get slaughtered. <laughs> Actually, I want to see if I could. I want to test this out. I, I think in the mess mesquia I have a hypothesis that um if I if I um what should we call it if I'm able to build a blacksmith here then I could train Amazon chariots in this settlement which would be extremely useful because then I just spam Amazon chariots up the wazoo up there and take over city in that way. Let's look at all let's look around and see if there's any um spawns that came up looks like uh no no none in spain no none in i don't think there's any in um africa no not over here none up there that's strange and this turn doesn't seem like we have a lot of spawns Nope. Maybe, yeah, it looks like we have... No, we don't, actually. Ah, there's no spawns up here. Any spawns over here or down here? No. Looks like we have a rebel spawn. One eastern infantry and one archer. Let's go scout around. Demantha Park could probably defeat what we have here, so I'm just gonna disband these units. Ooh, we're in a huge Egyptian army here. 
that's a unsettling sight. Huh. Anyway, let's continue. Alexander is gonna move up to Sinal even closer. Now up here we see that. Oh, let's move these chariots out of the way. Move them. Move these units here and attack. So right now we're just gonna attack with this huge ragtag army that conquered Dacia and attacked the Thracians. The Thracians are um, probably better than Dacians in my opinion because Thracians actually have hoplite units. Although right now all I see are militia hoplites and they all and uh, Falksmen. So yeah, I'll meet you guys back on the battle map. This shouldn't be too much of a too much of a difficult battle. Lend me your ears. I wish to praise. I wish to honor Caesar. Wait, I forgot what that. I forgot. Is it? You know. You know what Shakespeare is? Julius Caesar. Um, was it like? I forgot what it was like. It was a. Uh, I'm here to honor Caesar, not to praise him. Wait. I'm here to. Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> that has nothing to do with. Well, kind of something to do with this game, because this game is about Rome and all. But, yeah. Anyway, we're up against the Thracians, and what do I have here? I have a, a Barbarian Cav unit. I'm just going to use this unit. Okay, that's nice. I'm going to just use these guys to, um, whatchamacallit, to run down enemy troops. I'm going to use these Hoplites as a main means of a center. Because now that I have hoplite units, I'm just going to go on with hoplite warfare. So I don't have to worry about these barbarian units. So once these barbarian units become obsolete, I'll be sure to disband them. So I'll position my Peltas so that the like... The right in front of my hoplites, so I could do. I could just put these guys in phalanx formation if the enemy appears, and these peltas will be relatively protected. Although they might, a lot of them might die, but it doesn't matter because peltas are pretty sucky, in my opinion. And I'll use these warbands as a means to flank. Just light infantry. 